Those of you living in the UK or those of you who keep your ear to the ground when it comes to UK politics and news will know all about the Snoopers Charter or the Draft Investigatory Powers Bill. Now buried in those some 300 pages are some very worrying things indeed. The first of which is the Technical Capability Notice Section 189. And despite the fact that it sounds inoffensive enough, it gives the UK's Home Secretary almost unlimited power to impose an obligation on any relevant operators, basically subject to the requirement that the Secretary of State considers it reasonable to do so. And it also has a proviso that says, quote, it is and remains practicable for those relevant operators to comply with those requirements. So this probably rules out breaking end-to-end encryption, but we still allow the Home Secretary to demand that companies add backdoors to their software and equipment. However, if that wasn't worrying enough, George Danazes, who is an Associate Professor in Security and Privacy Engineering at University College of London, has pointed out that the Snoopers Charter only gets worse from there. The Investigatory Powers Bill could also make it a criminal offence, punishable with up to a year in prison and a fine, for anyone involved to reveal the existence of these backdoors in any circumstances. That's section 190 in brackets 8. And yes, this entire thing is linked in the description below this video. So, George said, quote, Secret backdoor notices, I mean technical capability notices, will be issued. An enterprising geek that wants to open a debate about them will either know nothing about them or be breaking the law. There will be no debate about what kind of backdoors or when they should be used or will be happening in total secrecy. Now, there's also similar gag orders that would apply to other main elements of the Snoopers Charter, such as the interception, equipment interference, hacking and retaining communications data and gag orders will also be in place for bulk communications data collection. Now this sounds pretty problematic and George agrees and he says quote this goes way beyond protecting specific operations since the acquisition is performed in bulk and cannot betray any specifics. The secrecy order protects the capability to access in bulk certain categories of communication data which in effect means shielding it from any proper scrutiny as related to its necessity or appropriateness in the future or any debate on that matter. Now, unfortunately, it's not. that's not the end of it. That could actually just be the tip of the iceberg, the draft of the bill. And as I said, this is a draft, so it could change, but I hope it does, because it's something to chill down my spine. Now, it basically forbids anyone involved in interception from ever disclosing that fact, including during court proceedings. And George wrote, quote, Note that this section is absolute. It does not have exceptions, for example, in relation to public interest, such as the ability to discuss the benefit or downsides of part interception of activities. No exceptions talking about this to MPs or other democratic representatives or even to exculpate anyone who would otherwise be wrongfully found guilty. Now, these paint a pretty gloomy picture, but also a very clear one that the central purpose of the revamped Snoopers Charter is not so much the claimed tidying up of existing surveillance powers, nor even the extension of them, although of course it does do that as well. At the heart of this proposed bill is something much, much more insidious, an attempt to make it impossible for anyone in the know to discuss any details of any surveillance activities that the government is doing, ever. And George rightly put it, puts it rather, quote, The gagging provisions are a clear example that calls for a mature debate around surveillance are mere rhetoric. rhetoric. The securocrats want one last discussion before making any discussion about surveillance simply impossible. I have to admit, I'm pretty worried if this actually passes, I would be seriously considering leaving the UK, as that is beyond ridiculous. Hopefully, if we can get people talking about it, we can get this changed, because if people knew what they were trying to pull, well, I doubt they'd be very happy. That's probably a pipe dream, but I can hope, damn it, otherwise I'm emigrating to Germany or somewhere that actually makes sense. Oh, scary times, scary times. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time.